Stop overthinking your bad ideas. At least they didn't kill you. We all have those moments when we think our ideas are the worst. But trust me, some people have had ideas so bad they make your worst thoughts look like genius inventions. Here are the top 10 dumbest ideas ever. These are the kind of ideas that make you wonder, what were they thinking? Kicking things off, let's talk about Johann Ritter. Johann Wilhelm Ritter was a German physicist who made significant contributions to the field of electrochemistry. But even the brightest minds can have their moments of utter foolishness. This German physicist decided to experiment with a voltaic pile on various body parts. Yes, including that one. Imagine the curiosity and the sheer audacity it takes to apply electric currents to your own body parts, hoping to discover something groundbreaking. Unfortunately, his experiments were not only painful, but also dangerous. Spoiler alert, he didn't live long enough to regret it. Ritter's life was cut short at the age of 33, possibly due to his reckless experiments. His story serves as a cautionary tale about the limits of scientific curiosity. Next, meet Henry Smolinski, who thought, why not make a flying car? Henry Smolinski was an engineer with a dream, a dream to combine the convenience of a car with the freedom of flight. Using a Ford Pinto and an airplane's rear end, he took off. Smolinski's idea was to attach wings and a tail to a car, creating a hybrid vehicle that could drive on roads and fly in the sky. It sounded like something out of a science fiction novel just before crashing back down. Unfortunately, the dream turned into a nightmare. The vehicle crashed during a test flight, killing Smolinski and his co-pilot. The flying car remains a symbol of ambition that soared too high too soon. Talk about a flight risk. The idea of a flying car is still pursued today, but Smolinski's tragic attempt serves as a reminder of the risks involved in pushing the boundaries of innovation. Dr. Stubbins Firth was so determined to prove yellow fever wasn't contagious, he drank vomit, urine and blood. His conclusion? Wrong. And gross. Mosquitoes, buddy. Mosquitoes. Dr. Firth's experiments were not only misguided, but also revolting. He believed that yellow fever was not contagious and went to extreme lengths to prove his theory. French tailor Franz Reichelt made a parachute suit and jumped off the Eiffel Tower in 1912. Spoiler gravity one, Reichelt was an inventor with a vision. He designed a parachute suit that he believed would revolutionize aviation safety. In the 1500s, one who strapped 47 gunpowder rockets to a chair, hoping to reach the stars. One whose story is a blend of legend and history. He was a Chinese official who dreamed of space travel long before it became a reality. All he reached was oblivion. The rockets exploded and one who disappeared in a cloud of smoke. His attempt is often cited as one of the earliest, albeit unsuccessful, efforts at human spaceflight. William Crush thought crashing two trains would make a great show. William Crush was a marketing genius with a dangerous idea. He organized a public event where two locomotives would be crashed into each other at high speed. He was right, except for the exploding boilers and flying debris. The event drew a massive crowd, but the spectacle turned deadly when the boilers exploded, sending shrapnel flying into the audience. Several people were killed and many more were injured. Some geniuses at the University of Oklahoma gave an elephant 3,000 times the human dose of LSD. The idea was to study the effects of the drug on large animals, but the dosage was far too high. It didn't end well for Dumbo. The elephant named Tusco died shortly after the experiment. This tragic event highlights the ethical issues surrounding animal testing and the importance of responsible scientific research. William Nelson of General Electric made a motorized bicycle in 1903. Nelson was an inventor with a passion for innovation. He believed that adding a motor to a bicycle would revolutionize personal transportation. His first ride was also his last. Should Oops! Unfortunately, Nelson lost control of the bike during its maiden voyage and died in the resulting crash. His invention was ahead of its time, but his untimely death prevented him from refining it. And finally, during the Cold War, CIA agent Frank Wisner proposed sending extra-large condoms labelled as small to the Soviets. The idea was to demoralise the Soviet troops by making them feel inadequate. Because why not mess with their heads? The plan was never implemented, but it remains one of the most bizarre psychological warfare tactics ever conceived. There you have it. Ten ideas so dumb they're unforgettable. Got any crazy ideas? These stories serve as a reminder that even the most brilliant minds can have moments of utter foolishness, but they also show the importance of learning from our mistakes. Just remember, think twice, jump never. 
So the next time you think you have a bad idea, just remember these stories. They might make you feel a little better about your own moments of doubt. After all, it's better to think twice and avoid a disaster than to jump headfirst into a catastrophe.